27. Once again, I want to thank you for joining my channel. <clears throat> yes, uh, I want to talk about um, you know, Total Take Mode. They came out and said that Hyper Warriors was uh, basically their most successful game, especially in the uh, North American market. And uh, it seems like with Hyper Warriors, uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> I believe their sales are like around a little bit over 800,000, and it's going to easily pass a million. And, after its life cycle, it might be maybe around a million and a half to two million in that range. That's just my prediction. And uh, they came out and said that they want to do more collaborations with Nintendo. And they also mentioned that they probably want to uh, maybe, uh, I guess, you know, use Mario and make some kind of uh, Mario Dynasty Warriors type of game. And uh, it's just to the point that I will take anything right now. Because we need more third party support. We need more third party collaborations. We just need games, period. I'm just being honest. We need games, period. And I just think it's a it's a good idea if they actually would do something like that. And, uh, you know, um, if they can't do spinoffs with other third parties to uh, do more collaborations, then get some uh, exclusive deals uh, with other third parties to like, bring some other games back from the past. Like, you know, do like a remastered uh, Eternal Darkness, you know, because we're missing games from the horror g uh, genre. You know, uh, like, <clears throat> do some kind of, you know, ex exclusive deal and bring NBA Live to the Wii U platform since it's not as popular on, on the uh, Xbox One and PS4 because, you know, it's all about the NBA 2K. But if they bring NBA Live to the Wii U platform, make it exclusive, then the sales of NBA Live would, you know, be a lot better than what it is right now. It's just my opinion. And, you know, also, like, you know, speaking of horror genres, I believe that they probably should bring back uh, Dino Crisis. You know, since we're not getting uh, Resident Evil uh, Revelations 2 or not getting the uh, Resident Evil Remastered. And it's just my opinion. I just really wish they could bring some old titles back because uh, I know Dino Crisis, it's not as popular as Resident Evil, but I still enjoyed the game. And that's, that's one of the old IPs I really, I mean, I really wish that they bring back, man. I just really hope they do. And, you know, my IPs like Crash Bandicoot, you know. You know, I really wish they bring that back. You know, somebody should take because I used to enjoy that game when I was little. I used to enjoy that game, <clears throat> and you know, and you know, like I said with the with the whole Mario thing, I think it's a cool idea if they would actually do a, some kind of Dynasty Warriors type spinoff game with Mario. You know, just I know I know a lot of people are getting tired of Mario. I know that I know they are, and like I said, it's just to a point that we need more games. I mean, more games out the ass. You know, <clears throat> I know a lot of people hadn't agreed with me when I said that the Wii U price tag is, is too damn much. But, you know, those are the type of people that will settle for all of Nintendo related games or Nintendo exclusives. But me, I probably would play maybe half of it or a little bit under half of the Nintendo exclusives. And, the, you know, the rest of my games that I have is maybe some some uh, older games from my Wii library. But why should I use my Wii games for my Wii U? You know, Wii was last generation. Why not just play my Wii games on my Nintendo Wii? You know, no, no, like I say, I, I like that it's back, backwards compatible. But that shouldn't be no excuse to fill the void, fill the gas for the Wii U's drought. That shouldn't be no excuse. That's just my opinion. But you know, I, I know there. I know Nintendo said that they are collaborating with a lot more third party, and that's good. But it would be even better if we can get some kind of, you know, some kind of news, some kind of release days. Just give us something. Because, you know, right now in uh, Nintendo's uh, current state, uh, the Wii U's current state, like, it, I just I just believe that it, it can't be no more secrets. It can't be no more secrets. You know, we know how secret, secretive uh, Nintendo is, but we are in the third year and, you know, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are getting announcements after ass after. They got even more announcements today. And... I'm just saying, we we just need something to keep us hype and keep us, you know, uh, happy, you know, about why did we bought bought the Wii U? And I, I know a lot of people bought the Wii U just for the exclusive. I, I know they did, you know, I did as well too. But I also bought it for third party. You know, I bought it on lunch day. And, you know, you know, whenever I, like, I, <clears throat> like I said in my previous video, you know, whenever I saw the E3 uh, 2011, you know, it was promised a lot of third party support. You know, they said. You know, you got your Mario's now, you got your Assassin's Creed's, you know, now, and you got, you know, games like that, you know, it was basically, it was going to get all the third party support, and we know how all of that turned down, so, that's why I made that video last week, and, you know, of course, 
it's been a, a lot of back and forth, man, some, some confusion going on inside the, the Nintendo, you know, gaming community, I'm gonna say, I don't, I'm gonna say it was drama, no, it wasn't drama, you know, it was just confusion, that's, that's all I'm gonna say, but, you know, just, just coming from me, I just want Nintendo to do better, that's all I want, I just want them to do better, because I just love the company, I just, I, just, I don't want them to never go anywhere, just keep spitting out games, and if we can't get multiplayer, then just collaborate with third parties, that's all I'm saying, you know, just give us some, some, like, like I said, if they got to go back and get some old IP, you know, like people not even even touching no more, just do what you can do to you know keep us happy, to keep us occupied, you know, just just give us something to be hyped about. That's all I'm saying, and uh, that's all I want to uh, bring up to y'all today. I just just you know. You know, just come out and say that, um, you know, Cortex Mo said they do want to make a uh, Mario type of Dynasty Warriors game. And it's, it's, I'm not saying it's a rumor, but they also, you know, they just basically said that that's, that's what they want to do, but it's really up to Nintendo. It's, that's, that's, that's basically it. And, you know, <clears throat> and the whole, you know, third parties collaborating with third parties, just so I already know about that. They already announced that they, they were trying to do it. And, like I said, I just want to, you know, know exactly what's going on because like i said we are in the third year and you know a lot of people are not patient anymore i know a lot of people are patient they got they got other you know systems they got you know xbox ones or ps4s but i didn't bought i didn't bought my we you just just for we uh nintendo exclusive i'm just being honest i'm just being honest but uh, anyway guys y'all just let me know how y'all feel about the whole situation and i uh, be y'all really wish that nintendo stop being so damn secretive and just just give us more announcement dates or you know just give us something to be hype about you know if it if they got if they collaborating with third party just announce just say something but that's all i got you know like comment subscribe and once again it's your boy Gamer 27 and have a good day